Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 14 of uh, Sky Bees, and I'm going to need to make an anvil. Something I haven't needed until now, so. But, I, uh, I actually have Netherrack coming in by B now. So, let's see. Got basically another two and a half stacks up there. But we're gonna upgrade our first diamond sieve into a netherite sieve if I can, right? Oh, it's not the anvil, it's um oh, what is it, the forging? Oh no anvil to repair things, yeah. Smithing table. Which is even cheaper than an anvil is, honestly. All right, and let's go ahead and this thing made up. You know, that's a good spot for it right there. So, boom and boom, did the right mesh. And chapter complete. All right, awesome. I only got X and Ilo done. Now just for the rest of these. All right, so the drawers. Illumination upgrades, really? When did that get added in? Illuminate drawer labels in the dark. Well, that's kind of cool. Not something I really need, though. I need a diamond and emerald, which I can make at any time. Need a one by two drawer, frame drawer. That's about it too. Actually, I'm almost done with storage drawers. That's kind of kind of a thing. And apparently, oh yeah, that's why it's popping up with a little notification there. I still haven't claimed these actually. Yeah, I do have my astral tome on me. I might as well. And I'm just gonna click the button. Claim all of them. If I click, yep, yeah, you still a thing. Cool. And we'll just do like that. There we go. All right, are you guys? Let me try breeding some more. I've got, I had some more, a, a small purple baby bee in there too. Okay, exchanging gadget, right? <clears throat> you think that's a thing? Four iron, two diamonds, two lapis, redstone. Okay. And then two lapis. I probably use that cyclic battery to charge this, I think. Or I ended up tucking the thing away at. Can we do the double click search thing? No. I don't know why, but that went away in like one, well, the later days of 112. Is at least being no longer a default option, but good enough. Oh, you don't have a battery or a charge slot anymore, do you? All right. Um. Okay, those are from mechanisms. So yeah, no. Energy discharger from power. Archer from there. Charging station. Advanced heat sinks. Oh, cool. Reduce the charge down the real gun. Awesome. Flux controller. Which is two obsidian, so. And it's raining. Okay, great. And now it's nighttime even. Okay, great. But went ahead and sipped up the rest of my netherrack. I got three more netherite. I'm going to make myself a netherite pick because, well, I need to mine obsidian here if I'm going to get into flux networks at all. Which is probably not a bad idea. And I can toss this iron pick away now. Don't really need a whole lot of 
use of the pickaxe mainly from picking up moving machines. Now, one thing I did off camera that I haven't showed off yet is I have a melting chamber and solidification chamber here. And what's going on is I'm smelting honeycombs and honey blocks over here to make uh, honey. What was it? Like five buckets of honey for those two. And then over here, I'm making honey blocks out of one bucket of honey and three sticks. So at that point, I can just let these machines back up with their honey for the most part, and I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to worry about the, the honey bottles and everything else, which I've got a decent amount, so do that. And thanks for the uh, comment about hitting K on the stacks. I always forget that extended or uh, what a, not extended crafting. Crafting tweaks lets you do that. Also, I got RGB combs. I should probably find foam for these, honestly. So I've got the system kind of automated. Drop combs in here, they get fed into the centrifuges. I must pull out from here and they go into a hopper. The reason for that is, well, it's quite simple. Like the cables don't like controller slaves. So, I like hoppers just fine though. And here's a question. Did I have RGB going somewhere else too? There's only 21 up in that drawer, so. What happens if you centrifuge an RGB comb? Nothing. Are there some stuck in the pipe then? Because I think I accidentally put some, ah, yep, here we go. Like they're around here somewhere. Here we go. But let's see, something else that I got done for the most part off camera was I got the nether bricks necessary to make myself a uh, blast furnace. Thirty-six of those, thirty-six of those, and then I'm going to need more blaze powder. Yeah, what, like twenty? Thirty-six and thirty-six of those. So all right, got our magma blocks now. And blast brick. Done. Quest complete for blast brick now. Been waiting a long time to get steel. Uh, let's see, hammer. Yep. Waiting a long time to get steel. Boom. Done. I've got a stack of coal coke already made up somewhere, and then I just need a stack of iron. And really, that should be all I really need to do with both these multi-blocks, unless I want treated wood for stuff, which probably. So that'll give me my steel. I need a steel block to be able to use my steel bees. And then I need steel blocks to make mechanism machine frames. In a blood magic altar. And I've just been, I'm holding off on astral until I get some more marble. Uh, we are up to, yeah, 55 marble at this point. So not the greatest amount, but we're getting there. And yeah, I've got pretty much all these on void, I think, right? Yeah, void and a storage upgrade one for this stuff. Um, which I don't actually have, I never. I ripped up my garden. I never actually replanted any of it. So yeah, I got sugar cane over here and that's about it. Oh, hey, my slime bees are done again. And I'm kind of curious to see how the apiaries do, honestly, but I still need one more wither skeleton skull. 
and I need to actually set up an area to fight the Wither, which I'm thinking is going to be... Uh, use the Astral Source for your Illumination Wand, which, uh, let's see, how bad was that? Illumination Wand, yellow, I need a Shifting Star, three Rune Marble, four Illumination Powder, which is, I can do that right now. This one requires a Celestial Altar, which is the tier, what, three altar? So, yeah, a little ways away. Full Sand Honeycomb and Slimy Honeycomb. There we go. And that'll get distributed out. It doesn't round robin by any stretch, so that's a bit of a shame, but... I wonder why I ended up one netherrack short. <laughs> Alright, cool. So netherrack underneath a uh, Victor Crystal equals nether brick. Interesting. Okay. Well, there's something new every day then. I put the wand away for now. I'm going to switch to the netherite axe I got for free because, well, free is my second favorite four-letter word. First one is food. And we're just going to pitch that out of here. All right. So, steel. How are we doing over here anyway? Three pieces already. Awesome. Back to the immersive engineering tab. And well, steel is a quest, so I might as well get that popped out of there. Thermal electric generator is up next, and then the metal press. Three steel, and then any steel rods, which I can make two steel ingots equal one. So I'm going to need six, nine for that. Four blocks of iron. Okay, I can make the redstone engineering block right now. And here's the part where the, uh, the recipes start getting a little more expertified, I think. All right, I need a heavy engineering block, which is four blocks of steel, four steel me mechanical components. Oh, and look, Electrum. So I finally need those alloy kilns I built a while ago. Uh, pistons, not a bad problem. Conveyors, standard recipe, okay. And then redstone. And something else I did is I managed to get myself up to 12 tier 4 beehives, which could be pretty handy. Let's go ahead and put that in there too, I think. Uh, we'll just put slag in there for now, I think. So yeah, yield production, finally. I'm going to need a stupid amount of it though. So I'm not gonna bother making any more parts of the metal press for now. Uh, let's see. Well, we can do the math here, right? So that's 36 right there. You get one per, so that's another 16. So that's, what, 52 steel per heavy engineering block. I could theoretically do it right now. I think my best bet, though, would be to focus on getting my steel bees up and running so I can have more steel production coming in and then worry about the press. And... Yeah, I can't craft with that, though, can I? And all this started because I wanted to craft with freaking creosote oil. <laughs> wanted to get a jerry can. Magnetic dynamos are a thing, but we need the steel press to make the copper wire coils. But that'll get me more power coming in as soon as that's done. Quartz enriched iron made an alloy kiln. Three iron, one quartz equals that. But that'll open up refined storage. Now black iron was black dye and iron ingots. Now black dye I can make with RGB combs. So one of the reasons I went ahead and got that done. 
Where's my alloy kiln bricks at? Yep. Go ahead and give me some of those, and I need a hammer back, please. There's that. So I need four iron then. Need one quartz, which I'm actually kind of sort of low on. But I do have soul sand coming in now, so I can at least sieve it for a bit. I need three RGB combs, right? And RGB combs for that was black dye. Here we go. And I just wish we had like tiny charcoal or something. Tiny coal, tiny charcoal, something like that. That'd be nice. You, you, and you. That'll give me my quartz enriched iron, which will open out that one. Black iron here for extended crafting. That'll give me one of those ingots as well. And I like how they put a picture in on how to make the metal press because it's actually pretty important. Mostly immersive engineering machines, I don't think nearly as much. Um, but definitely the metal press because that's the only way to get plates in this pack. Or going and need to make a pity machine frame, which I did actually. Gives me the book now. Okay. Mob slaughter factory, fluid extractor, latex processing unit. So it's just a fluid extractor now? Okay. And that produces latex. Okay. Does it say power optional? It does. Well, that's kind of cool. But where did my pity machine frame end up at? Actually, I did make the pity one, right? Yeah, this guy? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I made one. And then I was like, I don't really have a use for it right now, so I just took it away. Yeah, here we go. Put it away somewhere. All right, so... Oh, like type, I guess. Fluid extractor, I need... It's just cobblestone? Okay, I need a piston. So I need five iron, two gold, one of you, you, four cobblestone, actually six cobblestone. And I need planks first, okay. That's complete piston, yeah, nice. I'm making it after the quest, but yeah, quest complete, fluid extractor. So if you go there, you still have, yeah, you do, okay, it faces away from you. And I think Acacia is actually one of the better woods to run through these, at least it used to be, so. And now, is this power optional? Well, I've got this battery over here that didn't work out how I wanted it with 2.9 million inside of it. Let's put this on top. On the down, push power. Any power. Okay. Looks like it's uh, working a bit faster now. So that works. I can, I can deal with that. The next is the latex processing unit. I need a bucket of latex, water, another pity machine frame, block of redstone, four logs, four iron. And then I'm going to need a living rock and my wand. Oh, and this thing should be done with the coarse enriched iron by now. Oh yeah. There you go. Do I have an extra plank? I do. Here. You're going to need that probably. So, you, dang it, not the wrench. I'll set on top, let it sit and charge up. When it's done, just give it a right click. One thing I wish that Tanya could change, or well, maybe it is possible to change, but nobody ever does it. But uh, the catalyst for the runic altar, I would like it if you could actually change it to a different block to for certain recipes. Honestly, living rock to make a pity machine frame doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So 
So latex. Need a bucket of water, a bucket of latex, need a furnace, and some other stuff. But yeah. So we are at now 228 millipockets. This thing only holds a bucket by itself anyway. And I've got my two buckets on me. Awesome. Water. I'm going to need a furnace. So, furnace is on the bottom. Okay. Furnace. The machine frame. Water. Redstone goes here. It was iron in the corners. I'm just missing that bucket of liquid latex, which is not terrible. Why is iron rusting here? To be up there. Actually, here, give me that. I'm gonna make a stack of a uh, water bottle or a stack of glass bottles. Like so. And you get some, you get some, and you get some. There we go. Or switch iron can go into here for now. Same with nether bricks. Uh, the teleport staff. I've never, not really ever used that, honestly. I want to get some, uh, get some travel anchors going first. Oh, and I've got my render distance turned way down because... I was rendering a video while trying to do some off-camera work, and it was extremely laggy even with it down. I think I have it set to like three right now. I usually keep it at 16, so. Now it just turns out that uh, 116 Minecraft uses resources in a different manner than previous versions. They can run extra-large mod packs and still render videos in the background without a problem. This is not that big of a mod pack. Not that much is going on, and it was causing issues. Now that I've got another right pick, though, I can finally get rid of this portal. Even another right or netherite is still pretty slow to break obsidian, isn't it? There we go. All right, that cleaned up a little bit over there. And yeah, we're up to almost a stack of obsidian now, but I do have obsidian bees as well, which now that I have the bees, I don't have to worry so much about the, the automatic obsidian machine I was trying to make. It spectacularly failed for strange reasons, but I've never I figured out why it didn't want to work though. Um, can I have like some cobblestone too, I guess? a lot further than I meant to on that one. Oh. Why didn't you get done? Okay. Obsidian, obsidian, redstone. Right. Okay. What am I missing here? Besides obsidian. Uh, let's see. Flux block requires flux dust. Yeah, left click the obsidian. Redstone dust in between. Oh, a flux block. Oh, okay. I thought that was another obsidian. Right. Okay. Well, not really a huge issue, though, than the fact that I've got to mine up some obsidian now. Right. So, three by three, a bedrock. That's. The initial starting island and this at the bottom so that's why i said not really much of an issue you boom done probably do that for now and just put this away and i've got a stack of flux dust now now these still require ender or eyes of ender don't they they do all right that might be a bit for i go to do that then 
don't know if it's bother. I'm gonna bother putting that in a drawer, really. All right, so how many intervals do I have? One. So, hmm. There is this guy here, the Building Scepter Exchange from Cyclic. Two blocks of gold, two iron, and crystallized amber. Lightning bolt over there. Alright, so I went ahead and made crystallized amber off camera as well, because it was a bit finicky. So it is half a bucket of honey, fire charge, redstone dust, and magma block equal one. It's gonna be cyclic honey though, which only comes out of the melting chamber. Liquid honey, like what's in the mechanism tank here, it's not cyclic honey. So it doesn't work, which is why I've got this going right now. The amount of sticks on, so I need to refill that. Um, yeah, that was like it bothers me trying to figure that one out. It wasn't hard to figure out, but it was just like, really? You didn't or dictionary this stuff? All right, so it is sneak left click to pick like pick a block. I'm curious as to what the hell just uh, all down a lightning bolt over here. Thank you for shooting the Enderman, by the way. That was amazing. Oh, probably. Oh, well. Never did fill that hole in. You know what? Creeper, come here. Creeper. There you go. Thank you. Well, the two boss mobs that I was wanting to kill died. <laughs> I think it's pretty safe to say one of them was responsible for calling down the lightning bolt, though, that I saw. Let's go fill that hole in. Completely space filling the, the blasted thing in. Is there any more Enderman over there? I can't see what is back there, you jerks. Um, nope, there's something else calling lightning down back there. Oh, I just got shot. Do I really miss right now? Crash cam. Thank you. Don't do that, dude. There we go. I bet that's the the boss there. Valkyrie of Night as the boss. Yep. Chain to diamond armor. Yeah, it's going to take a while. So strange things are happening. I think it's due to my armor that I got. Another right chest piece? Yeah. Thing is healing, though, too. There we go. Um, death happened, and there's stuff at my feet.
Got some diamond boots. Okay. Some diamond pants. Sure, why not? Darkina's Ironclad Genstone Sally of Latent Magic. Protection 6, Fire Protection 6, Respiration 4. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'll work. And with the chest piece, that means I've actually replaced that Sidhu Bosnian I made a while ago. Um, they get an integral, which is nice. This should be done over here. Yep. And it's still working on that first Acacia log. Latex processing unit. Thank you much. You can go there for now, I guess. You're going to need power and water. All right, so fluid cable, energy cable. I made an extra cobblestone generator. I'm like, why isn't this hooked up to the system? Because I don't need it, honestly. All right. Sink. I put my sink over here right now. I have that back, please? Thank you. You can go there. Fluid cable can go here. I need to find some more, maybe. You're filling up the latex. Awesome. Our energy cable. You can go here. All right, you got plenty of power now. Do I have any more fluid cables? I should, right? Yeah, fluid cable. There, extract, water, latex. It's gonna make a tiny dry rubber, which I can combine then into dry rubber, which I can make into plastic. And then I'll be able to do something like maybe make a mob imprisonment tool, something I looked at doing a long time ago. Uh, let's check on our steel now. 23. Okay. I've got enough steel blocks now, or enough steel to make the blocks to get my steel bees up and running. Well, I have one right now, but I can breed some more up. Hmm. Excuse me. Fairly quickly here. And I forgot, completely forgot to rebreed re you guys. Dang it. The sieves and gravel bees right now. So one thing I also want to do, grab a stack of this. I was going to do before I got distracted by the uh, thunderbolts and lightning. Well, just there we go. It's like shift left click, right? Because this sets your your size. So three by three actually works. Shift left click. Put it to glass. Actually, uh, give me one. Work. Do you freaking mind? Beatrice, the son of Herobrine. At least you die quick. You're not enchanted with, like, Protection 6 or whatever that was. Sop mead. Thank you. Oh, stuff. I need to get this to go back to actually. Hmm. Nah. Thinking with the fences, they might be able to glitch through if they're inside the fence block when the baby matures. I think that's what happened. I had a silver bee just like flying around earlier, and now I don't see my, I think it was a lead bee anywhere. Means I probably should change those out with player filters, but I hate that block so much.
two ender pearls. Hey, look at that. Also, I got a ton of player heads. Uh, I can go there. Burbelins. Burb Helens. Ironclad Rusty Great Helm. Section 5, Unbreaking 5. It's not bad. And then the Unbreaking 1 on top of the Unbreaking 5. Just icing on the cake, I think. Alright. Like your head, Sebedus's head, Iron Boots can go away. Gaisom's head can go away. Uh, I'll keep the bow, I guess. I mean, it's a brand new unbroken bow. I might as well keep it. All right. But I do have a block exchanger now that... A little on the expensive side, but it doesn't require power. And there's some fences inside there. Okay, cool. So, need eight of those. I need two flowers. And I guess the player gates. Uh, what do we got for glass? Do we have anything resembling a third hill glass at all? Because I really do not want to use those gates if I can't, or the filters. Framed. Dirty glass is actually made with four shards of glass, but also that makes regular glass. Glass. So I mean, yeah, great, thanks. Uh, let's see. There's dark glass from industrial programming, but there's that's that's it. Definitely not looking forward to this. I need to find a different way to do this. That's horrible, yeah. And they all ran away. You jerks. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. I uh, got a few stuff and things taken care of. I need to wait for steel to get done. I got to breed up some more steel bees. I need to breed these guys up. And uh, I need to get more marble so I can focus a bit more on... Okay, well, there's... All right. Four of those, and you can have that, and I'm out of here. It is handy for that. I just hate the whole black screen thing whenever you go through it. And it looks like we got a gold bee. And now I'm going to have to wait a little bit. So, well, I might be able to... You good for now? You're not it. You then, right? There we go. And that aluminum, maybe? I don't know. Some sort of bee. An eggs, man, I swear. All right, but yep, this is my bee collection. Like right now, I've only got one steel bee, so I'll get around to breeding more of them up once I get more of these bee tainment centers made. I do prefer the new glass texture, honestly, for Minecraft. Not extremely streaky, which helps. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series, and until the next episode, I'm signing out. Have fun.